So, you want to make some boots for your doll, but you're not sure how. So I'm going to show you step by step how you can make your very own doll boots for BJDs and other large scale dolls. And just to let you know, if you prefer this guide as a printout, you can click the link below to take you to the downloadable PDF page. Now let's jump straight in and get started. First of all, here's a list of all the materials that you need. You can pause the video now if you want to have a look over it. Now if you've got all your materials, then let's get started with the prep work and the templates. The first step is to wrap your doll's feet in cling film to protect them. This is obviously easiest if you have a BJD and you can simply unhook the foot along with the ankle joint. However, if you're working with a different doll whose feet are not removable, don't worry, you can still complete this tutorial. Just wrap the cling film a little further up the leg to the knee. You only need to use a little bit of cling film, about 10 square centimetres for each foot should be fine as you don't want to obscure the shape of the foot too much. Once you've drawn around the shape of the foot, lift it off and round off the front around the toes to make the shoe shape. Cut out this insole shape, turn it over and trace around it to make your second insole shape. Cut this out too and match it up to the first one to make sure that they're equal in size and shape. Now's a good time to cut out a second pair of templates that are 1-2mm to two millimeters larger all the way around which you can use later as a template for the outer sole. Next, dab a little PVA glue onto the card insoles and carefully position the wrapped doll feet onto them. If you offer them up to each other, sole to sole, you can check that they're evenly aligned. The edges of the leather ramps will be glued to the underside of this insole so they won't be visible when complete. The next step is to mould a toe cap so that the shoe will keep a nice shape. You can use any type of air dry or paper clay or putty like Millie Putt White for this. It'll be on the inside of the shoe and it won't be seen. I've used the doll premix in this tutorial as I find it easy to use. Because it's air dry clay it dries quite quickly and can easily be sanded. Simply mould onto the front of the sole over your doll's toes and leave it to dry. Once dry, Sand the toe cap into a smooth, even shape. Next, take your marker pen and mark out the centre line and the eyelet positions onto the cling film. You'll also mark a horizontal line across the top of the foot to show where the toe cap will end. Now that the doll foot is prepared, it's time to make some paper templates for the toe box, vamp and tongue of the boot, or in other words, all the leather uppers that make the boot. Place the foot onto the A4 piece of plain paper and trace around the toe shape, offset at about 1.5 cm. Stop at about 5 mm beyond the horizontal line across the top of the foot that you made with the marker pen. This paper shape will make your toe box. Next, place the doll foot on its side and trace around it an offset of about 1.5 cm. Again, stop at 5mm beyond the toe cap line that you made with the marker pen. This is to give you enough of an overlap with the toe box piece. On top of the foot where your eyelets will be, the offset only needs to be about 3mm. Simply trace along the edge of the foot and curve up to the boot opening at the top. At this stage, you can decide how tall you want your boots to be. Just extend the lines upwards as far as you want to go remembering that you will need to strike an angled curve at the back to allow room for the calves. You can use your doll's leg as a guide for this. And finally, we need a template for the tongue. Using the vamp template, place the end of the tape measure from the edge of the toe line and run it to the top of the boot. Then, cut a strip of paper as long as this measurement, plus 1.5 cm, at 4 cm wide. The extra is so that you have a seam allowance and enough to glue underneath the toe cap part at the front. Round off the top edges of the tongue by cutting them in a curved shape with your scissors. Next comes the best bit, because we're going to be doing the leather work for the uppers of the boot. So using your paper templates, cut out two toe boxes, two tongues and two left and right vamps. These of course have to mirror each other. And now onto the sewing! I like to sew these by hand with a backstitch as I can get better control, especially at this small scale. However, if you have a sewing machine that handles small pieces of leather well, feel free to use this instead. Alternatively, if you want a quicker method, or you don't feel comfortable with sewing, you can glue the seams with some leather glue rather than sewing them. So first place one pair of vamp pieces back to back, fuzzy side out, and sew up along the heel edge with a seam of about 5mm. Follow the curve of the edge so that it will fit the heel and ankle nicely. Then fold the seams back 
and glue these in place with a tiny bit of PVA or leather glue so that they lay flat against the inside of the boot. Now the next part is a little bit fiddly but it's quite important to check the boot will fit well. So offer up the sewn ramp piece to the doll's foot, leaving an allowance of about 5mm beyond the card insole at the bottom. On top, check that the two sides of the vamp meet each other neatly in line with your marker line, overlapping each other by about 2 to 3 millimeters. If necessary, do any trimming at this stage. If you're happy with how the vamp sit, proceed to sew a seam of about 5 millimeters all around the edges, excluding the bottom, because this will be glued to the underside of the card insole and it won't be seen. On the paper template of the vamp piece, mark out with a pencil the eyelet positions, ensuring that they're evenly spaced and leave enough room between each other. If you're using 2.5mm eyelets like I have in this tutorial, space them at least 8mm apart from each other, that's from one centre point to the next, otherwise they'll be too close and it won't look right. Use your punch pliers to make the holes into the paper and then mark them out on the leather with a pencil. Then you can punch the holes into each side of the leather, taking care that they're symmetrical. And now you can use your eyelet setter to secure the eyelets in place. Next, you can take the tongue and sew a seam all the way around it so that it looks a bit neater than leaving a cut edge. However, if your boots are for a smaller doll, I would suggest to avoid this step as it may be a bit too bulky. I've sewn a 5mm seam all around the tongue except at the base because this is going to be glued to the underside of the toe box. Next with the toe box piece, fold over 5mm along the straight edge of it and glue it down. Then glue the end of the tongue to the underside of the toe box piece, centred on the straight edge. Next, dab a little bit of glue onto the toe cap that you moulded with your clay onto the front of the foot, and then affix the leather toe box piece to it. Now you can fold over the edges of the toe box and glue them to the underside of the insole. You'll need to use small sharp scissors to cut little triangles to prevent lumpy folds from occurring. Now the main vamp piece can be glued on. First, fold under 5mm at the heel part and glue it to the underside of the insole. Next, fold under and glue down the side edges, again making little triangle cutouts with your sharp scissors to prevent lumpy folds as before. As you do this, make sure that the eyelets line up symmetrically on the top and also that the leather on the underside of the insole sits as flat as possible because you're going to be gluing the sole to it next. And speaking of which, your first boot is nearly done. All you need now is to create a sole. The spare, slightly larger card soles that you cut out at the beginning can be used as a template for this. Simply knead and roll out some Fimo or another oven bake or air dry clay of your choice, about 3 to 5 millimeters thick, and cut out the sole shape to the template. You can make some ridges on the base or some patterns if you're feeling adventurous with a knife or sculpting tool, and then bake as per the instructions. And during the baking and cooling time, you can get started on the other boot. Once the soles have cooled, you can glue them to the underside of each boot. But before you do this, of course, carefully remove the doll foot, leaving the card sole and toe cap inside the boot. Then spread some glue onto the underside of the insole and then press it firmly against the sole so that you get a nice, neat join. Wait for the glue to set. And now for the fun bit where you know that you're pretty much there is you lace up your boot with some cord or some ribbon or whatever kind of thread that you fancy. And that is basically it. That's how you can create some fabulous boots for your doll. And now your dolly girl or boy is ready to show off their new shoes in style. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, you can download the full 15 page PDF in a printable A4 format, complete with all the photos and explanations I've given you here from our shop. Just click the link below. And if you enjoyed this video and want to support our channel, please click the like button and leave a comment in the section below, maybe even with a link to the boots you've made using this guide. And better yet, share this video with all your doll buddies. To see more of what we're up to, come and check in on us at dagaredolls.com and follow us on Instagram at dagaredolls. I wish you the best of luck with your own doll boot project and I thank you so much for watching.